have a busy day ahead of us heading to a beach club right now got the podcast set up the computer set up uh but your boys bringing out the big guns with the drone today uh and you guys will see why super excited the hell is stoked can't wait to show you Oh, and by the way, this is the Manfrotto backpack. You guys be like, Dustin, dude, you have an entire drone in this backpack. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, camera lens, uh, GoPro, uh, the setup for the charging, the uh, remote control, and, you know, obviously we keep those business cards on deck. But yeah, guys, this is the Manfrotto book bag. This thing is a beast. We would like to take this opportunity to thank Loco Tulum for sponsoring this video. When in Tulum, make sure to check out Local Tulum. Where are we at? Not a complete loss. No bueno. No bueno. Today, beer battered shrimp tacos here, La Zebra. I cannot wait to tell you guys how these bang. So, we have carrots, we have pickled onions, we have red onions, we have chives, and we have peppers, and we have some kind of like uh, aioli sauce on the top with clearly handmade tortillas. Oh. Okay. These are delicious. Herbal, aromatic. That beer shrimp. You can really get the taste of the other note of like the cerveza. These tortillas are undefeated. I love these tortillas, bro. I didn't get the sauce on that bite, but these are very good. Very good. On the beach, 
baby lips out here about to get these swimsuit sponsors and brands. Y'all hit my girl up. Go ahead and check her out at Veronica La La Land. See the finished product. in route to go to a place that is owned by a company that also owns a restaurant called Loco Tulum. If you're ever here in Tulum, it's probably one of the highest TripAdvisor uh, reviewed restaurants here on like the little beach boardwalk. Anyways, we're gonna go there. We're gonna have a, it's a uh, sunset experience, which is apparently very popular. A lot of people, uh, well, some of you guys may not know about it, but it's kind of the move and I cannot wait to show you. Me and Babe Lips, hell excited, cannot wait to get up in here and get that sunlight, right honey? <laughs> this is the digs for today. Loco Tulum. Our wine, sí. yeah, it's a Mexican wine, it's a brand Mexican. Um, we are work uh, with that wine because it's a foundation helps uh, the local people. When you buy or when you pay for one uh, bottle, the 30% is go for that foundation. Oh, that's yeah. nice, yeah. that's really nice. It's, it's good because it's more important for us work with the with the local people see yeah. be careful and take care uh one one each other see yeah, yeah. that's it's beautiful most important. that's beautiful <laughs> not one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen as far as your eyes can see it is like 
man. I don't know what I... This is beyond. I've never seen anything like this. Oh man, and we're here for the sunset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to tell people, they have never done Tulum right until they've seen this. Never have done Tulum right until they've seen this. Don't just come here and hang at the beach. Oh. Don't do it. Oh, no. No, you have to see this. And be kind and live with gratitude and live every day like it's your last and, and put good energy out and... It'll reciprocate because I'm telling you guys right now, as the gentleman was just telling us, this is like, this is like a high honor for the culture. Like they, as you can see, this side has no buildings, no nothing. It is just very, very beautiful and like historic. this luscious mangrove forest of just ancient Mayan Yucatanian treasures. This place is freaking beautiful, man. Like there's literally no words how nice this is. I mean, this it's there is no words to describe this. This is an amazing experience. I am so happy for this. Thank you so much. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Cheers, my love. Wow, that's good too. That is delicious. This is really good champagne. She literally is 50-50. But when I tell you guys, this has lemon, orange, like uh, grapefruit, notes of grapefruit, amazing. Mm. Come on. I love how garlicky this is. Mm -hmm. When you're traveling and you're talking to people and people offer you to do something, take them up on that offer unless it's a bad offer. All right guys, Baby Lip just came to a complete revelation. What was that, you may ask? The tomer? Mm-hmm. It's literally the best hummus I've ever had. Oh, you heard that. <laughs> Baby Lip said this is the best hummus she has ever had. It's like a, I feel like it's like a garlic hummus, but bro, I actually, so I have to agree with her. This hummus is phenomenal. Like, I can't remember, if I've had better hummus, I, I'm, losing my memory right now on where I consumed it at because this place slaps. It's, you can make a meal out of your hummus. Yeah, yeah, like in this place is, you know, it's so funny. They have like, like they have pasta, they have like tacos. This place is it's just like a great kitchen. Hummus apparently, um, but the food is so good. You, you pretty much, if you can, come here during the day and downstairs, as soon as you go downstairs, you'll be able to eat there at night and the kitchen turns into a whole thing like, the chefs are whipping it up, it's good vibes, it's music, people are laughing, cheering, like it's a, it's a really good vibe, man. Tulum in, in all is a good vibe, but I feel like local Tulum specifically really embodies that, I would say, wouldn't you? Yes. Facts. This is probably one of my favorite champagnes I've had, flavor profile wise. America. And you know it's a move when Baby Lips is pouring it up, because she is like, no bueno when it comes to the champagne. <laughs>
para abajo, para el centro y para adentro. <risa> Loco Tulum is a culinary treasure nestled between the Caribbean Sea and the historical Mayan jungle. The exquisite local ingredients skillfully crafted by Mediterranean chefs, the ambience of this outdoor oasis lends itself to memorable experiences for your next trip to Tulum. Hey guys, I don't know if I ever had a lemon margarita, but we are at a place called Loco Tulum, and apparently this place pops, so here goes nothing. Wow, wow, that's tart, okay, <laughs> very tart. It's good tequila, because I feel like there's no liquor in there, but it is very solid ingredients. It's extremely tart, though. This place is kind of known for their linguine. I'll be the judge of that, okay? Their shrimp linguine is very popular here. Wow, look at that. That is absolutely gnarly, guys. Known for this dish, bruh. Mm. Mm. That is amazing. Oh my god. Herbal Mediterranean flavors. This is out of this world. This might be some of the best. Linguini, I think I've had. Alright, this is... What are these tacos? These are fish tacos with white fish, which is the catch of the day. Ooh. I don't know what I think of that. That's really delicious. It's not fried fish, it's like grilled fish. Cut fine, white fish, very flaky. This is a win. All right guys, Veronica is testing out the shindigs. Oh, gracias, amigo. That's such a big bite. That is a big bite. Alright guys, this is the garlic pasta, which is different from the linguine pasta. Let's see what this one does, alright? Oh man. Beautifully composed dish. Right amount of pasta. Not too herbal. Perfectly cooked shrimp. Noodles al dente. This dish is fire, guys. So the restaurant brought us out some complimentary champagne for baby lips right here, for labios. It's actually really delicious. Yep, thank you so much, guys. Good looking out to the restaurant, Local Tulum. The lemon does something when you sip it and drink at the same time. <laughs> All right guys, so as you see, this is like a two-part series. So you take the mezcal, which comes in these like small little like Yucatanian dishes, you shoot it and then you take down like the almond situation, which is an ice cream like on a bed of like cocoa. So pretty much cocoa, like chocolate. They put the mezcal and these little like ramekins, 
ramekins right here. All right. <laughs> that is good. Here's for you, citizens. Woo! Wow. Incredibly smooth. Doesn't have that smoky like uh, turn down that you normally get with some store bought mezcals. Incredibly smooth. And now I gotta chase it. Chase it with like some of this ice cream. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is bananas. Look at this. Come on. Come on. Bro. That is the perfect finish to tonight's dinner. It's like that smoky mezcal, clearly house made here. And then washed down with this ice cream with this like chocolate ganache and these almonds on top. Perfect sin help. You got your girl baby lips, labios de bebe. You guys know how I feel about shots. All right, we do know how you feel about shots. We'll go ahead and take it to the dome. Uh-oh, building herself up, guys. Ooh. Okay, and now she has to get, go ahead. There you go. Scoop away, look at that. Come on out. That makes all the sense in the world, doesn't it? That's delicious. <laughs> Guys, this is the aftermath of this phenomenal dessert, bro. My love, was this a good dinner? It was a very good dinner. Good times in Tulum. Very good times in Tulum. And good nights in Tulum. Right. <laughs> Honey, mm -hmm. did you have a good day today? Mm -hmm. Good. Look at her. Look at her. Look how she gets in here. Look at her, guys. Look at her. I don't want to lose the key. Be careful. We set traps in our place. That's a whole other story. We'll tell you all about it. Wanna shake the ground? Wanna break away? Let loose. I'm tired of waiting. Gotta make the Shout to me and you to write our story. Wanna shape the new.